Welcome to Delightful, and welcome to Sketch With Me number 5. I thought we'd try something a little different and try sketching outdoors this time. The majority of my work when it comes to making dolls and editing video for YouTube uh, has to take place inside, you know, in my studio. But I love to be outside most of the time, so I figured why not at least try the Sketch With Me videos outdoors. And it honestly worked better than I was expecting, the footage came out pretty nice. I was worried that maybe the shadows and sunlight would look too harsh, but I think it looks pretty good. We did have to pack up a whole bunch of supplies on a cart and wheel everything out to the park. So it felt like an excursion, you know, a bit of an adventure. When I say we, my mom is visiting me right now in Korea. Before we started sketching, we bought some kimbap, which is a classic Korean picnicking food. And we found a good spot and had a nice little picnic, and then we started sketching, which is basically the perfect afternoon. So for my first drawing, uh, after I did the Aurora Dragon doll, I just can't get the Dragon series off my mind. Yes, it's affirmed, I'm definitely doing a Dragon series. I do have a couple dolls planned first, which have to come first, because one's a collaboration. Well, two's a collab- Anyways, I got like three dolls that need to come before I can even start the Dragon series. But that doesn't mean it's not always on my mind. So for this sketch, I just wanted to sort of spitball what an Earth Dragon might look like. And I do really like how this drawing turns out, but it's by no means the official artwork or the official concept for what the doll will look like. It's just me thinking out loud, you know, sketching. I am working on toned paper again, and the basic sketch was in pencil. Now I'm coming back with a brown marker to define shapes and add more detail. When it comes to an earth dragon, I feel like it would be really cool to have her start rocky at the bottom. Like her feet could be mountainous rocks, kind of that cool stone color. And as we go up to the top of the doll, she can transition to wood, kind of wooden legs. And then maybe her right arm can be flowery and sort of the life side of nature. And her left arm can be the stony, hard side of nature. I feel like an earth dragon doll or an earth dragon girl doll has a lot of potential for showing different themes. You could take it in a lot of different directions. And I'm thinking I'd like to accentuate both the life-giving side of nature and the powerful, dangerous side of nature. Lastly, the fun part, adding some white acrylic paint on top just to spice up the image and make it look done. That's the first drawing done. She actually went pretty quick because I had in my mind's eye I already knew what I wanted to draw, so she was only about a 40 minute sketch. You know how sometimes you'll sit down with your sketchbook and you want to draw something, but you just don't have any ideas, and it takes you ages to get anything out on paper? This was the opposite of that, she really came together quick. That's when you know you're having a good drawing day. Still inspired by the dragon series idea, I thought I'd start a sketch with maybe a water dragon next. But this sketch bombed pretty fast, I thought it looked like she had big chicken feet or something, I hated it, so flip the page, let's start over. I decided to sketch some close-ups, maybe some profiles of how the fins and hair might behave on a dragon, water dragon doll. I got to thinking about different types of fish and maybe sea serpents, and is a sea serpent still a dragon? And then I got to thinking about tropical fish designs for patterns on the skin, that could look cool. And slowly it became more of a mermaid drawing than a dragon. These aren't the best drawings from this session. I felt like I could have done way better. I've certainly done better profiles in my time. Nonetheless, it was fun to explore and express maybe how fins and patterns would look on a person. Some mermaid concepts, I guess. I did get out my watercolors in an attempt to spice up the drawings and make them look a little more finished. The color definitely helped, and it was fun to paint on the paper. This paper's really good, by the way. It's thin, but it never bleeds through on the other side. I wish I could tell you what kind of paper it was, but it's just a $2 sketchbook I got from Daiso, believe it or not. I finished up with white acrylic paint again on this sketch, but I think I overdid it. Anyway, there it is.
On to the next sketch. I was still in a mermaid mood and felt the need to finish this episode with another full figure concept of something. Once again, starting with a graphite sketch and coming back on top with a marker, a blue marker this time. You've probably noticed the bean bag and the rock. Uh, it was pretty windy outside, so I had to use something to weigh down the pages of the sketchbook, or it would just blow all over the place. The sun angle is also getting worse here. Not just for the drawing, but for me as well. We had had some cloud cover and a little shade, I think. But with the sun full on my back, I was very conscious, all of a sudden, of the fact that I hadn't put on any sunscreen. And without sunscreen, I burn really fast. So that's on the back of my mind as I'm rushing to finish this piece. You can see me trying to throw in some color real quick and, oh, let's put the white finishing touches on, but it just looks unfinished and rushed. So eventually we did have to get out of the sun, and I just took this back inside and finished it later that night. Which is why we have the scene change. I was in the mood to use acrylics that night, so that's what I'm using here. And I do like how saturated and bright she came out. My favorite drawing was still the first one, though. And there we go. As far as this being an outdoor experimental filming episode, I think it did pretty well. Lugging around all the equipment and the camera was a bit cumbersome, but I like being outside, so it was worth it for me. Minus the sunburn. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a good sketching day as well. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay artsy! Annyeong! Tell it who's boss, Pinto.